Amen. That's, that's good, preacher. Hey, Amen. Was shocked when you called him. He's like, you, you done that, didn't you? I said, I didn't say nothing. The <laughs> Lord didn't want me to leave. Amen, Amen preacher. Hey, Amen. I'm going to share something with you real quick, and then we'll share with you what the Lord laid on our heart. I shared this with my church yesterday about people listening. And it's, uh, that's what you need to do. You need to listen. A wise man will hear. Amen. Amen. And increase and learn. Uh, so, uh, I, you probably know Franklin D. Roosevelt. He, uh, there's an old story told of him when he was in the White House. I stood there receiving people in long lines, and and uh, he complained that nobody never paid attention to him. That's some of my complaints. <laughs> listening to what the preacher has Come on. Come on. And uh, one day during the reception, he decided to experiment. Oh. And uh, so to each person that came down the line to shake his hand, he uh, murmured, I, I murdered my grandmother this morning. <laughs> I shake people's hand. I murdered my grandmother this morning. <laughs> and, and their comments, their responses was phrases like this marvelous. The next person, I murdered my grandmother this morning. <laughs> Let's say keep up the good work. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next person, another comment would come, and he said, I murdered my grandmother this morning. Just shaking their hands, and they said, we're so proud of you. <laughs> and uh, that just uh, uh, proved his theory that nobody was listening yep. to what he had to say until it was at the end of the line while I'm greeting an ambassador from Bolivia that his words were actually heard. Uh, Non-pulsed, the ambassador leaned over and whispered to him, I'm sure she had it coming to her. <laughs> <laughs> he was listening. <laughs> oh, so I hope you listen this week. Amen. Hey, Amen. what the Spirit has to say. Amen. Bibles and let's stand and look in Luke chapter number 24. And we'll be mindful of the time. Amen. I, I, I appreciate preachers that respect the time that's given them. Uh, we don't want to take no more nor no less than what the Lord has in doing. That's right. As well. Yeah. Uh, but want to be mindful uh, to the authority here uh, at Faith Baptist Church as well. So we'll do our Bless best uh, to do so. Luke chapter 24 and uh, in verse number, uh, let's look in verse number 36. Now here's the story where uh, the two men in chapter 24, uh, they were on their way to Emmaus. They were sad. Their countenance had fallen. It's the third day. You find in verse 21 where they made the statement, but we trusted that it had been He which should have redeemed Israel. And besides all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Uh, this man whom they knew not walked up with them began to speak to them. They didn't know it was the Lord at the time. Jesus began to preach to them uh, about the prophets and about the Psalms and their hearts burned within them. Their eyes were opened in the breaking of the bread, the Bible says, and he vanished out of their sights. And verse uh, 33, then they rose the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together uh, and with them uh, that were with them. And the Bible says, verse 34, saying, The Lord is risen indeed and hath appeared unto Simon. And they told, verse 35, they told what things were done in the way that how he was known of them in the breaking of the bread. And as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted, and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are you troubled, and why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see me have. And when he had thus, uh, and when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they believed not for joy and wonder, he said unto them, Have ye any meat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and a honeycomb, and he took it and did eat before them. Why? Because they still wasn't sure that it was him till he ate. And uh, then, the verse 44, And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake in you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, 
which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. And he opened their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem, and ye are witnesses of these things. Now I want you to look back at verse 39. Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see me have. Now here's the story in a nutshell. Jesus was with his children. Jesus died on the cross, uh, bowed his head, gave up the ghost. Uh, and uh, three days has come, and it's the third day. And, uh, and uh, things has happened uh, uh, that they could not see, did not understand. They were troubled. They were sad. The Lord manifested himself to a couple of them. They go uh, to Jerusalem and found the eleven there, and they begin to tell what they had saw, but yet everybody wasn't settled about the matter yet. And they needed reviving. Come on. They needed some help. They needed some encouragement. Man. These were God's children. These were born again, blood washed, children of God, but yet they had come to a place in their life where there was confusion where there was trouble and where there was uncertainties. But I'm glad the Lord knew how his children were faring. Amen. And they wasn't faring too well. So Jesus took a trip down that road where those two were walking and were sad and revived them. And then when they came to the others there, the other eleven, Jesus said, I think I need to go by there and step in the room and revive a few more. Amen. Lord, you're the same yesterday. You're the same today. And Lord, your word says you change not. We don't expect no difference. And we pray tonight that you step in the room, Lord. The door's being shut. Yay, and Lord, man. manifest yourself oh, as God. you see fit, Lord. Yeah. And revive every child of God. Yeah. Revive yeah. every marriage, yeah. Lord. Revive every church that's represented here tonight. Yes. yes, Lord. Do work, Lord God. May your hand rest upon your people tonight. Bless, I pray in Jesus' name. And the church says, Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you for standing. Revive the saints. The subject tonight and this week, no doubt, is about revival. Amen. I believe that's what the Lord is interested in, is reviving His people. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And the Lord, no doubt, when He saw these people in this room, He no doubt knew what He was going to do before He stepped in. Amen. He always, he always knows what He's going to do. Amen. He's not when messed up. When those people didn't have nothing to eat, and He asked them, asked them about some meat, y'all got any bread? They said 200 kids worth is not enough to feed all these. But Jesus said that because He knew what he would do. And he knows what he's going to do this week. Amen. Amen. Let him have his way. Amen. Trust him. Amen. And just take what little bit you got poured out there and he'll feed the most. Amen. So we Revi see bless him. revival. And how did these people get revived? Well, I believe they got revived because Jesus showed them his hands and he showed them his feet. Uh -huh. Jesus showed them. He said, behold my hands. And behold my feet. A lot of times we see the Lord, but we're not sure it's Him. But there's no doubt when we see those nail-scarred hands. Amen. Yeah. There's no doubt when we see those nail-scarred feet. That was a testament that it was truly <laughs> Him. A no doubt they had. There was soul on the fact that more than likely it was Him. But when he, they saw His hands, and when they saw His feet, oh, they were sure that it was Him. Yeah. Oh, listen to the Lord wants to show us Himself this week, I believe. 